hello guys welcome back to my channel now i'm going to be talking about this very guy on the screen this guy you have here all right the story is that this guy went to the uk through a sponsorship visa okay that um, enabled him to work as a, a caregiver or a carer in the united kingdom if this is your first time on this very channel please do well by subscribing and don't also forget to share our videos. If you are watching on TikTok, please do us a favor. You can um, follow, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because sometimes, there is even a video I posted prior to the other video. And um, you, uh, TikTok told me that it's a community violation and all that. Uh, so, it's not every video that I can afford to post on TikTok. Or even if I post them... TikTok, we remove them. So if you are watching from TikTok, please do well to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel or the Facebook page so that you'll be able to see all the news and everything that we publish. Now, this guy um, got the visa to work in UK and then he moved over to that uh, place. Then getting there, he fell in love and um, uh, with a Nigerian nurse, okay? And the one thing led to another. They were in two different cities. All right. So after a while, they, you know, found themselves loving each other. At the end of the day, he moved to the girl's uh, side, thereby ending his um, sponsorship in the city where he was. Now, after they found out that the marriage was no longer feasible, it wasn't working anymore. And they divorced. Now, remember that he has caused, uh, uh, withdrawn his uh, sponsorship visa. The UK government is giving him um, three, is it three months to find a sponsorship job or be deported. Wahala. So it is not advisable for anybody to get to UK and, you know, <laughs> lose your visa because you found your lover, you found somebody you love. Especially when it has to do uh, the, the man leaving his own priority or his own responsibility to move to the woman's side or guy. <laughs> it's not advisable. Now, let me give you from the source. They say that this story, according to Triple U, Triple U is a blogger on, um, on the internet. The story, according to Triple U, is that this guy entered the UK early 2022 with care worker sponsorship visa care worker sponsorship visa he entered the uk with that along the line he fell in love with a nigerian who is a nurse so life has started now he is happy that he's getting a partner in the same country where he resides then the guy lives and work and works in london why the lady lives in Brighton. Okay, so two different uh, cities all together. So probably they met online and started chatting. One thing led to another, you know, they maybe they met because it's a kind of distance journey, a distance uh, relationship again. But they needed to have a specific place to be together as a couple. Then let's continue. Now, there is, uh, there is uh, some distance between both cities. So, one person has to move if they are to get married. One person must move from his own his or her own city to be with the other one if they eventually get married or if they are to get married. Now, watch you as a man, as a man, pay attention because this applies to men, most especially because men... <laughs> We are always vulnerable. Remember that you as a man going to UK, going to America, going to Bodo Ibo, when it happens, you are the first to leave the house. If, 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 if worse come to worse that you even have children or more, <laughs> they might even give you distance uh, that you can ever get close to that house. You understand? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Triple U advised this guy not to end his sponsorship 
that is his sponsorship visa which brought him to United Kingdom as it best the lady moves to London since it's also easy to get a nursing job than a care job these days. You see, huh? so in UK now, getting a care job, which is the one that he had the visa, you know, they say that it is more difficult to get a care job than to get um, a nursing job in UK now. Because it seems that the care job is paying more or is even more uh, um, comfortable for people to do. Now, finally, they got married. Congratulations. So it, that's a good news, finally, right? Let's continue. They got married. This guy canceled his sponsorship and moved in with the lady as her dependent. <laughs> As a man, you now move to a woman's apartment as a dependent. You will now depend on the woman. The, the woman now becomes the base. I don't know if you people understand the English. The woman becomes the base. The, the base where you are standing. The rock in which you are standing. The boat in which you are sailing in. <laughs> well, you, you know, you should know the meaning of that. That if a man is feeding a woman for one million years, it's a normal thing. But once a woman starts feeding a man within a few months, the whole world will hear about it. So why should a man, why will a man cancel his uh, own this thing and move into a lady's apartment? Or God, even if I'm the one to start paying it uh, after a while, I'm not moving in. Because as a woman, it is you that will come. Even if I'm to move to your city, it's better I look for a house there, rent it by myself for you to come. But despite that, if something goes wrong and you are living with the woman, you the man who rented this apartment, you are still the one at risk. But it is even fairer that this house or this apartment is under your name is fairer than you move to a woman's apartment uh, everything now is under her control. You are living abroad. This is not Nigeria. You understand? Uh -huh. Now, lady, uh, what did I say? One year down the line, the marriage is not working and they eventually get divorced. Lady reports to who, uh, UK Home Office that they are divorced and then Home Office sends this guy a mail to either find a new job with sponsorship or leave the UK within three months. As we talk now, one month don't pass. One month don't pass. The only way this guy can continue to remain in UK legally is to either marry another lady who had documents or find another care job with sponsorship. Guy man need your help. Me, love is blind, but then you should also have sense when you are in love. Never you trust anyone enough to switch your visa to be that person's dependent. You get why? That's the story. Do you see it? So this guy is seeking help and he's not uh, ashamed of sharing his picture and all that. So guys, please let me know your own opinion. What do you think he's supposed to do or what do you think he's supposed to have done? before he entered into this wahala and at the same time now that he is into this wahala now and seeking help please what's your opinion write it under the comment section and also share this video as a lesson to everybody okay that's the only thing you can do for me now if you want to send money to nigeria please don't forget to use the tap tap send promo code which is a uh, critics news um Anywhere you are in the UK, US, UAE, EU, and Canada, they are going to give you five pounds, uh, five euros, ten dollars, and uh, 25 AEDs on top of the money that you are sending to Nigeria. Download the TapTap -tap app, send TapTap -tap app uh, from uh, Play Store or either App Store, it's everywhere and it's very, very easy. And they are rates. Are very high they are retire something else i promise you so try it today and use my promo code which is critics news god bless you as you do so and share this video
Share it on YouTube as well. God bless you and bye-bye.